Hi everyone, so yesterday we left our house and one of our good friends shared a dispersed campsite, um, a spot in Tahoe National Forest and we arrived yesterday and it was beautiful but then on the map we saw that there's a lake and if we just go a little bit further we would arrive at the lake. So we kept driving, it was getting really dark, it was almost 8 p.m. So and then we found this the most incredible spot. I think it's one of the best spots that we've seen in California. It's by this beautiful lake and there's still snow up in the mountains. And I thought I would give you a little tour to explain what makes this the perfect spot. So just arriving to the spot was a bit of adventure because like I said, it was getting dark and there's lots of rocks and it's um, definitely a challenging road to get down and there's also this patch right here that's a little bit challenging in the dark but as we pulled in we realized that we found a gem of a spot and like i said i think this is going to be one of our favorite spots going forward so there's a little clearing here and it's mostly flat and a perfect spot for the hammock which my husband is enjoying right now with the book and a coffee yeah and check out this lake now it's not Lake Tahoe but it's pretty freaking close and it's all public land there's no houses here there's a bunch of people kayaking right now I'm gonna show you guys our kayak that's parked over there we have already kayaked early in the morning before the wind picked up how you doing? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna walk around and explain what makes this such an awesome campsite. So first of all, it's quite a distance from the road. We can still hear it, but people can't necessarily see us right away, which is awesome. We're a little bit blocked by the trees and just the trees in the spot are also so beautiful. It's just such a pleasure to be here. Um, another awesome thing is that uh, because this is a national forest, you can uh, get a campfire permit and you can have a campfire and there's a lot of dead logs which we picked up and that's how we made a campfire now like i mentioned the spot itself is not super leveled so it took us a good 20 minutes to figure out how to make it leveled with um, rock stacking so this is what we did on this side over here this tire is sitting on a pretty large rock and this level is still not entirely perfect, but we it's made it work. Yeah, it's borderline. <laughs> it's borderline, yeah. As long as your head is um, up, how do you say it, above the feet? Sure. Yeah, <laughs> you're good. No nightmares. All right, so this is our dishwashing station. We always pick a rock and uh, put the water canister here. I actually just washed the dishes <laughs> after we had breakfast. There is a really awesome fire pit. And the reason I say awesome is because some fire pits don't have openings and holes here, which doesn't let oxygen flow, which is not so good when you're trying to start a campfire. Uh, but this one is awesome. There was plenty of oxygen flowing here and we started a campfire. This is our grill. We grilled some fish on it yesterday. It's actually a perfect grill because it goes right above the firing and it fits perfectly storage boxes this is for food this one is for utilities like hatchets and saw this is our Kansa outdoors kitchen i just made breakfast on it uh, we made some eggs and uh, just made some coffee here's mine about to drink it and let me show you the view from the rooftop tent the best part so this is the ladder, taking off my shoes, climb in. So we always close our mesh, because you just don't want to go to bed with bugs, unless that's your thing. So because we arrived quite late yesterday, we didn't really see the view from the rooftop tent. And then today when we woke up, yeah, let's just say it was an awesome morning waking up with this view. Um, it was quite chilly at night, uh, maybe, 35 degrees maybe 36 so we both slept in our warmest sleeping bags and uh, all of our storage is here so we kept our water bottles here and the books and headlamps 
and our trusty pillows that always travel in this tent. And this is aloe cap um, for those of you who've seen our previous vlogs. And this tent is awesome because you can keep your bedding in. And uh, packing up camp is so easy. You just close up the tent and go. So I'm just gonna climb out, try not to fall. All right, so this is it. And now I'm gonna show you guys our kayak. So he's reading Che Guevara and his motorcycle diaries through South America. Yeah. Makes us kind of want to go to South America. <laughs> now. No, not now. All right, tomorrow. <laughs> there is uh, two people kayaking. Honestly, it's the perfect lake for kayaking. It's not too big. There's no waves. I think that guy lost his paddle or something. He didn't tow. Oh yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Still snow up on those peaks. Very cool. And by the way, this is not uh, a natural lake. It's a man-made lake, but for a reserv reservoir. Is that how you say it? Yep. <laughs> It's uh, the water is clear and the shore is actually looking amazing. So this is just as good as a, a natural lake. It's very rare for the shore to look so awesome. So there is our campsite. You just have to climb down some rocks, and here we are. So this place, uh, why this place is so amazing, another reason is it's actually perfect for launching a kayak. Um, it's not super rocky as it's over there. So we actually assembled our kayak right here because it's a kind of a, a flat spot. And we launched it right over there. And then we spent about an hour kayaking all the way from here to those two islands and then all the way to the back. It was a beautiful morning. So here's our kayak. As you can see, it says Klepper Kayak. If you haven't heard of Klepper Kayaks, they are legendary. They have been around for over 100 years. They've been, um, I think they've, they were created in Germany. Uh, it's a German brand, they're still around. And this one is actually a vintage kayak. Oh, 1907, <laughs> sorry, yeah, so definitely over 100 years and uh, this is a vintage kayak like I said we purchased it secondhand uh, from uh, this guy who lives in El Dorado and this kayak used to belong to his uncle so it's awesome you know it's uh, no waste with this kayak no waste created or you know it's just a vintage kayak so inside is so much space and because there's so much space inside this kayak has actually been used to cross the Atlantic with the sail. So we plan to do a lot of kayaking trips this year. Um, we're super into overlanding as you can see <laughs> by the rooftop tent but I think what's really awesome is maybe you know coming into a beautiful spot parking the car and then just um, taking the kayak maybe across the bay or across the lake and then camping um, across so that's uh, one of our plans for this year so it's a beautiful 17 foot long kayak it's so stylish and we just love it so much it's so functional it does take take about 30 minutes to assemble but practice makes perfect and uh, we get faster and more efficient every time we assemble it So I got kicked out from the hammock by this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So look, she's I'm in good. A prime spot. That's right. It's sunny now here too, right here. Yeah, it's kind of chilly when I was doing. So thank you everybody for watching our vlog from this beautiful lake. Um, there's another guy uh, kayaking over there, living his best life. Uh, we're just gonna go and have some coffee and read our books and chill in the hammock and maybe potentially take a little nap later. <laughs> I hope everyone has a beautiful day. Bye.